It is the desire of every parent to give the best education to their children. Unlike in the USA, where public education, supported by the state-of-the-art facilities, is top-notch, in Kenya, the state of public education is sorry. Such is the state at Friends Primary School, Chavavo. It established a long time ago, in 1938. So uh, you can see, to 19, 2019, the, bar, the school was uh, in bad shape. At such, it was condemned. About seven classes. Uh, so we had to, the, the public health condemned it and they had to abolish it. The school's motto is to provide the best learning environment for pupils to enable them to succeed in life. But the situation on the ground is different. Inhabitable buildings, lack of toilet facilities, and no administration block. And this is the kitchen I was talking about. Something maybe Harambe was done just to put this temporary structure. This temporary structure and it's not even in good condition. But because that is what we can have it for now. The situation is so dire that teachers and students are sharing the pit latrines. For those not familiar with pit latrines, this is an example. It's like a dropping zone where you drop and go. This is was sponsored by the alumina. That's their project one. And they have done a very good job. Uh, actually, particularly for, for the girls. Otherwise, it was only this that was there. Situated in Vihiga County in western Kenya, Friends Primary School Chavavo is an education institution where hope and education once intertwined. However, the devastating COVID-19 pandemic of 2019 shook the ground of this humble institution leading to its condemnation by Kenya's education ministry. The government condemned several classes of the primary school and after condemning the school was uh, shut down. But amid the despair, a glimmer of hope emerged in the form of the resilient and determined school alumni led by Clement Adeli Adero, a local administrator and the chair of the Alumni Association. As old students, we came together under the patronage of Evans, who is our patron, Lane, who is our treasurer, and Mr. Onde, who was then the head teacher. We sat down and sought ways of how we would assist and uh, uh, help the school reopen. Him, together with Ivan Sungudi, the alumni patron and other alumni members embarked on a journey whose primary objective was to breathe new life in the school infrastructure, thus paving the way for its reopening. We approached various stakeholders and various students who had gone through the same school. Um, on 7th of January 2020, we had our first meeting and we formed the Chao Primary School alumni. Our major objective was to improve the infrastructure so that the school can reopen and also to work on how we would improve the results of the pupils once the school reopened. With unwavering dedication, they rallied support and embarked on various projects from building the girls' toilets and securing the school with a gate to constructing new classrooms with the generosity of well-wishers such as Mama Janet Zintambila. If you can see that building from the background, I store, there's a section where I'm storing books that I'm collecting that I will take to my village. Uh, my primary school was condemned, so we're trying to rebuild it. And we want to build a classroom in honor of my husband. And that will also be part of a library that the books will go to. Our first project was to do with sanitation and we came up with the, the girls' uh, pit latrine because this, one of the reasons why the school was condemned is because they did not have enough washrooms. We later uh, consulted and approached our friends, our sisters from Vigulu who reside in the US and they assisted us in putting up the water tank. 
you remember that was the period when we had COVID-19 and one of the conditions was institutions must have enough supply of water for them to reopen. The school alumni's vision extends beyond mere restoration. It recognizes the need to align the school with the evolving Kenyan education system's competency-based curriculum, CBC. Education in Kenya is, more, is reforming every time. For example, when they have introduced the, 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 the CBC, this has created so many problems. For example, there is no home science room and the equipment needed in that one. Also, we don't have a laboratory. You know, the junior secondary also need uh, a laboratory so that we can, uh, we can make our learners learn properly. And then we also have, we don't, we don't have a computer. Computer at this moment, we, it is very much necessary. So we don't have a computer and easy equipment. And that's why the teachers are complaining that they cannot give children what they are supposed to, to learn. It seeks to expand the facilities to accommodate this transition, including additional classrooms and an administration block to liberate teachers from the confines of a makeshift office within a classroom. Isaac Mulusa, the school principal, shares a tale of positive deviation in the school's performance since his tenure. When it comes to performance of the school, I have the results for the last three years. When I came in, the school was not only really performing well, but we have realized some improvement. The 2021 results, we had 217.24 then 2022 we had 222.59 this year we got 224.62 so there is a positive deviation in the performance despite this improvement the school grapples with the daunting reality of insufficient resources and the facilities required to lead the young minds into a brighter future Mr. Manyika, the Board of Management Chair, unveiled the somber history of the school's neglect since its founding in 1938. Our main, main problem, major, since this school started, we have never had administration block. And that has been really our cry and we are uh, trying to see if we can get some friends to help put up this administration block because one of the classrooms has been taken as the office for the head teacher and the deputy. So that's really a challenge, a big challenge. He emphasized the vital need for more support, the urgency of which was echoed by Leonard Odendo, the alumni treasurer. He appealed for immediate attention to the deplorable state of the boys' toilets, a testament to the school's dire plight. The immediate need that the school requires at the to a boys' toilet, they're in a pathetic condition. So we need, we, we need, if we can get any funds, we should put up the boys' toilets. And then also we also need another extra classroom for another extra time for the for grade, for grade eight. And then in future we also need to put up an administration block for the school. Currently, this school does not have any administration block. The teachers are operating in a classroom as an office. It is important to note that Kenya's Prime Cabinet Secretary, the Honorable Musalia Mudavadi, the third most powerful person in the Kenya Kwanza government, hails from this county. But it is not easy to meet him. It is not easy. My dear friend, it is not easy. Sisi tuko hapa. Na mimi ni lukona zumuza na rais. Munga mini bariki, ni memaliza kusomesha watoto wangu. Na kuna wengi hapa wana hiyo. Lakini kuna wengi zaidi ambao bado wanasomesha watoto wao. They are the majority. Wale tumamaliza ni wachache. Lakini mimi nataka na ulize wa Kenya na waluya ambao wako hapa. Haswa. Je. Kwa sababu mimi nimemaliza kusomesha watoto wangu. 
tunayemanisha kwamba ukiniambia njoo tujenge shule ya Kakamega High School mimi niseme msiniletee story mimi shamaliza wangu wachana na mimi hiyo ni kujenga taifa kweli manyika has a passionate appeal to honorable mudavadi the first thing is to make sure that we have enough classes we don't we are lacking about three of them the administration block go now look at the pit, the teachers pit latrines they are not there they are sharing about two against 10 and then the the boys we have just about four of them sharing about 170 something that is really pathetic edward agoi a retired teacher and chairman of chavavo junior secondary offers a first hand account of the school's hardships underscoring the struggle it faces depending solely on compassionate benefactors to sustain its daily operations and improve its facilities. The school was condemned at one time because the classrooms were weak, so the Ministry of Education had to close it. So from that time, we, had, we, are, we are just tr struggling through alumni group. We are only relying on uh, people who can help us. Reverend Ephraim Kisato, the chairman of the Parents Teachers Association paints a vivid picture of the community deep rooted in love for the school, with generations of children and grandchildren passing through its halls. The school holds a special place in their hearts. He highlighted the importance of a school feeding program, a lifeline for the impoverished community unable to provide adequate nourishment for their children. Hapa kwetu sehemu zetu za Maraguri wadadi hawana chochote. Tunapopanda hizi mahindi ambayo ndugu umetembea huko tunakula kwa shambe na kuisha. But we have a, pro, a program called pre-feeding program kwa shule. Kwa hiyo watoto wetu wanasumbuka. Wanasumbuka na pia tena naomba kama tutapata mtu ambaye tutusaidia hawa watoto ili wakae kwa shule wakule kwa shule shule itasonga as the story unfolds the steadfast commitment of the school alumni PTA and the community stands as a testament to the resilience and solidarity when you go to that one there the last two classes there now that one comes from the ministry the patron of the school alumni voices a grand vision of transforming Chavavo Primary School into a beacon of excellence within the next five years. And that's why we are working very hard because uh, all of us, we came, uh, we went through that uh, school. Uh, this, this school is uh, best in Chavavo Village. Chavavo Village has raised so many uh, students. Most of them have gone to various prestigious universities, both in Kenya and, uh, and outside Kenya, and especially in the, in the US. And that's why we don't want to let the school go. We want to make sure that uh, the school is developed and uh, it is there for, it will be there for many years uh, to come. He implored on the alumni to pay homage to the school's foundation by giving back to society, nurturing the seeds of future leaders and scholars. Through their unwavering determination and the outpouring of support from compassionate souls, the forgotten walls of Javavo Primary School echo with the promise of a new beginning. We are dedicated to it because of our future generation. We don't want them to suffer because of our, our school. The school, teetering on the brink of condemnation, now stands as a testament to the resilience and unity of a community driven by the unwavering belief in the transformative power of education. I would encourage them to continue doing it the same. My name is Bonventure and this is Moving Pictures Kenya, connecting people, inspiring Africa.